So um, on the first thing, on basic, if you guys remember what I told you uh, to do last class period was the first thing we're going to want to do is identify the parent graph. Now, again, the parent graph in this equation is going to be y equals b to the x. So the parent graph, we're just going to graph y equals 2 to the x. Well, thank you very much, Mr. McLogan. y equals 2 to the x is what we did last class period. So you guys could do a table, but hopefully you guys already have that on your uh, notes. And we know that if you're to, let's just pick a couple numbers. 2 to the 0 power gives you 1. 2 to the first power gives you 2. 2 to the second power would give you 4. And if you guys remember, once we did like negative numbers, that made us fractions. So our graph looks something like this. All right. Now, there's a couple other characteristics to this graph. It also had a horizontal asymptote that was completed right there as well. All right. So that's what the parent graph is. Now, I think it's very important when you guys are graphing that the first thing you're going to want to do is graph the parent graph. See what the parent graph looks like. Now, the next thing is identify the transformation. So what we do is we look up here and we see, all right, I have a negative. I've added now a negative and a minus 3. Right? The negative, since the negative is being multiplied by your function, that is going to tell us to reflect over, I'm waiting for somebody to try to chime in, the Two. X -axis. x-axis. Thank you very much. It's going to reflect over the x-axis. Just think of it like parabolas, guys. Right? Remember when your parabola was, was like a was negative? Then you reflected down. It's the exact same thing. Um, then we have the minus 3. Does anybody want to try the minus 3? Brittany, do you remember? Minus 3? No? Doesn't Shifts? It's, three. it's, to the left. it's right. left or to the right. Yeah. right. Well, when it's negative, would tell you think to the left. But remember, we always kind of said it's always the opposite, so it's going to be going to the right. So you're going to go right 3 units. So the reason why I say graph the parent graph, guys, all we're going to do is take this graph shift it three units to the right, and then reflect it over the x-axis. So I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to take the y-intercept. I'm not going to move every single point. I'm just going to take this point and move it over three units. One, two, three. Then I, when you reflect something over the x-axis from your geometry class, you remember you just kind of like flip it over, right? It's like a book, reflecting it over. So really, if I'm going over three up one, now I'm going over three down one, all right? Um, Therefore, my graph is now going to look something like that. I reflected this point. I took this point and removed it three units to the right. Then I reflected it over the x-axis, flipped it over, because that's what the reflection does. Now, the next thing is identify the asymptote. So if you guys remember, the asymptote here is at y equals 0. Did I sh move this asymptote by shifting it three inches to the right and reflecting? Did that asymptote really move at all? No. So the asymptote is still going to be at y equals 0. Now let's identify the domain in the range. So we're looking at the black graph here. The domain states the f how far the set of all x and y values. All right. So how far to the left does the graph go? How far to the right does the graph go to include all of the x values? So we look at this graph and we say, how far left is it going to go? Infinity and to the left direction is going to be negative, and then how far to the right is the graph going to go? Negative. Nope, to the right. Infinity. Infinity. It's going to go very slowly, right? Because it's shooting down, but it's still going over very slightly. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. Now let's look at the range, which is the set of all y values. So how low is this graph going to go? Down to infinity. And then how high is this graph going to go? Well, remember, what is this asymptote? What is an asymptote again? An asymptote is a line that the graph is going to, Lynette, what? Uh, it starts with an A, and it rhymes with toch. Manoch. It rhymes with panoch. Um, approach. It's where the graph approaches. So this graph approaches. This asymptote. What is the asymptote? What is this asymptote at? Zero. Where are you getting zero? The asymptote's right here. So it's approaching that. So it's going to get very, very close to it, but it's never going to cross it, or it's never going to go past it. So therefore, your range is from negative infinity down to zero. 
Okay? Anybody have any questions, preguntas? Um, La China.